my name is Nikki. I'm from the Happy Heart Art Club. Um, the Happy Heart Art Club is my sister Meg and myself. I live in Shrewsbury and so I work from the Space on Colum in Shrewsbury. And she lives in South Africa so she works from there. And together we run an online art club a couple of days a week where kids and parents can come together and find some joy in creating some art projects. So we are so happy to be able to share that joy with you here today at the Rainbows and Happy Days Festival. We think it is such a wonderful initiative and thank you so much Annie for bringing us on board. We are thrilled to be able to raise some money for our Health Heroes and the Shrewsbury and Telford Hospital Trust Charity. I always get that mixed up, I had to read it as we go. But we really are thrilled to be able to help to give back to them. They've been doing so much for us at this time. And so we are going to jump into some crafts and the first craft that we're going to do um, is actually related to our health heroes. So before we get started, I'm going to chuck this headband. I'm going to grab something a little bit more appropriate and a little bit more festive. And we're going to get started. So I'm going to kick off and then when I'm done, Meg is going to bring you um, some crafts that she's been working on. Um, and to get started, we thought we should get into the right mood and we should get into the right kind of gear. So we've, um, we hope you've joined us this week in the couple of crafts that we've shared. So we made some... Uh, dream catchers and we made some headbands here. I hope that you've already been making some of those. If you haven't, don't fear. If you can go and grab two toilet rolls right now, all you need is a toilet roll. I will show you how you can get yourself kitted into a happiness warrior. I'm going to dress myself right now. I'm going to put on my happiness warrior cuffs. Here they are. Oh, here we go. There we go guys, I'm ready to go. So I'm going to show you how to make these. They're really simply, I'll take this one off and hold it up. It's just a toilet roll. So all you're going to do is cut up the back of a toilet roll with a pair of scissors. You're going to round the edges off and then you're going to put a design on the front. So I chose to make mine gold um, because I had some gold paper here that I could cover them with. And I put a red heart on because I thought that hearts were for love. And so that's what I wanted to channel today for the festival. So I'm going to be wearing my cuffs today. And I hope that you will be able to make some of those for yourself. Once you've cut your toilet roll up the center, you simply slip it onto your wrists and you can paint them or color them in or cover them in wrapping paper or put some felt on them. There's any way in which you want to design them, you can do that. So let's start with that. And once we're in the zone with our cuffs on, we're going to get started. And what I'm going to show you today is how to make some Health Hero Shakers. So here in the UK, we are out every Thursday night at 8 o'clock and we are shaking and clapping and banging pots and pans and being really grateful for everything that all our health heroes are doing. And I'm going to show you how to make some little health heroes yourself that you can then take out um, and use on a Thursday night. So what you're going to need for this um, is a toilet roll, again. Um, you can see that the base of this is made out of a toilet roll. I have started doing one already and we're going to do one live. So I'm going to put this one down and pick up one that I've already started with. So what you need to do first is take your toilet roll and paint down to about halfway um, where the health hero's face is going to be. So I've painted mine down and then the next step you're going to give your health hero some hair. So I chose to make my health heroes out of uh, felt but you can do it out of cardboard or you could do it all out of paint. It really is up to you. Um, they are very, very simple to make, but I'm going to show you how I did mine with the felt. So what you do is you take your piece of felt and you take your cardboard and you simply turn your felt over the top of your cardboard so that you're giving your health hero a little bit of a fringe. So here we go. And then you grab your stapler and you staple. And you really simply just staple along Try not to step on my fingers as we do this. I'm going to turn it towards myself so that I don't step on my fingers. Hmm. And my stapler has run out of staples. Of course it has. Sorry guys. Technical error there. Right, back to back to work I hope so get back online yep there we go and you staple those along so that your health hero has started to get some hair then what you're going to do is you're going to cut down the sides cut down the sides see how easy that is and then you're going to tidy up the back so your 
back of your hair I've just rounded it out nicely like this okay then what I like to do in the front um, is to round it out a little bit but you can give um, your healthier or whatever haircut you want um, I like to give them a little bit of a fringe so uh, these scissors don't seem to be working I'm going to change them and grab a smaller pair go and you just cut up like this little tassels so that your health hero has got some hair so I think today um, on this health hero I think we're going to make a nurse and so we are going to stick with um, a nurse as everybody traditionally knows how a nurse looks so we're going to make another version of this little health hero here um, once you have got your hair on your health hero, what you next need to do is add your arms. So the arms are made out of a pipe cleaner. Um, so you take your pipe cleaner here and you grab a skewer. If you don't have a skewer, you can use a pencil, you could even use a pair of scissors. I found it quite easy to use a skewer. What you're going to do is put a little hole through on the side of your health hero here. Uh, we should call this one a health hero in training because it's not quite made yet, is she? So you're going to put it straight through so that you can um, make a nice big hole there so that you've got somewhere to push your pipe cleaner. Then before you push your pipe cleaner through, just make sure that the little metal edge is showing so that you are able um, to pierce that straight through the other side. It can sometimes be a little bit tricky when you are threading it um, to get it to. There we go. So you pull that through. And now your little health hero has got some arms. So what I did next was just to take the end of the pipe cleaner here and twist it around a little bit. You can make any design you like, but I quite like that my little health hero should have some hands. And then once I'd measured whether I was happy about the arm length, I just did the same on the other side. Give her a little hand by twisting it around. And then I simply snipped off the excess. Right. So now we've got a little health hero who has got hair, she's got arms, and so before we get cracking with finishing her off on the bottom, we're going to finish off the top. So what we need for that is a marker pen, and if you have got, and I have got some here, if I can find them on my desk, yes, I have got here some little wobbly eyes. So I use wobbly eyes. If you don't have wobbly eyes, I'm going to draw on, uh, you would draw on eyes wherever you want them just on your little health hero's face. I'm gonna draw on some eyes here so you can see how easy it would be to give them eyes. There we go, you could draw on eyes. Um, as it happens, I do have some bobbly eyes, so I'm gonna put those on. The way that you would do that, obviously sometimes they are, um, they've already got sticky stuff on the back and if they do, that would be great. If they don't already have sticky stuff, just whack some glue on there and then pop them into place okay so here we go here we go so now our little health hero has got some eyes um, what you can do next is add a mouth if you like I think I'm going to leave these little eyes to dry before I get cracking with that and what I'm going to do for you next is look at how we can make her uh, little nurse's hat so you see she's got a little hat on so what I did there was just take a piece of felt and I cut a little square just like this and then I took my scissors and I rounded the edge ever so slightly I just rounded the edge um, so that I ended up with kind of like a nurse's hat shape and then I put some glue on the base of that really simply put some glue Grab that, turn it around, and then whack it onto my little person's hair. So it covers nicely the little staples that you've put in at the top. And then I have cut this out already because it can be quite tricky to cut, but I cut out a little red cross just so that, just to indicate um, medicine and the medical practice. I mean, by no means do you have to do red and white. You, I know that there are lots of doctors who are wearing green and blue and pink it all depends on what they do and at the moment everybody that's doing their bit in the health profession especially is important and so it really doesn't matter how you make them look but traditionally this is how our little doctor or nurse would look so 
Now we've got her eyes and her hat and her hair and her arms. What we're going to look at doing is then covering her body. So what you can do here, there are a couple of options. One is you could paint this. You could just take some paint or some marker pens and you could color this in. Or you could take some cardboard and you could use some cardboard to cover the bottom. I again have got some felt. So the way that you would cover her if you've got some felt is to take your glue and you're going to need some clear strong glue if you are losing, using felt is you um, are going to put the glue all over your little hero here and put it all over, all over, keep going till she's nice and all covered up and then you are going to take your fabric or whatever it is you're using to cover and you are going to twist it around until you are all covered off okay just like that so what you need to do is just make sure that you've got more felt than you do um, toilet roll so that it will cover the whole of your little nurse or doctor or whatever it is that you are making once you've done that you can just trim off the excess and grab your glue again you'll see that I've left a nice little piece overhanging here and you are going to put the glue on again doing this very roughly because I'm trying to be quick so that you're not having to watch too much and you glue it down so now we have got a fully dressed little health hero and she is ready now I'm calling her a she I felt like the last one I made I was calling a he but this one apparently I think is a girl and um, so before we put it on I haven't actually given her a mouth so I'm quickly gonna do that you can use any kind of mouth that you want. I chose to make my health heroes happy. Happy for your support that you're going to be giving through the Just Giving page. Um, and what you're going to do then is grab some rice. So you can either grab some rice. Um, this one I filled with rice. This little one I actually filled with a bell. So um, you can stick a bell in if you want to. Or you can just pour rice in. So this rice was probably about a quarter of a cup. But you can just do it to size, um, however you think it's going to work best. What you could also do, I thought might be nice, is maybe if you have some Easter Bunny, um, what do you call these, ribbons left over, you could stick one of those in. I don't know what a combination of rice and a bell would sound like. Let's try that out. And then what you're going to do is, I'm going to show you on a, a flat toilet roll. If you had closed your toilet roll here for the hair, when you do the bottom of the next toilet roll, when you do the bottom of your little health hero, you're going to squeeze it the other way. So it's going to make this kind of shape. It's kind of like a triangle. Okay? So just, it, because I found that if you squeeze it on both sides, she goes a little bit flat. So what you want to do is squeeze it the other way with your staples um, so that it gives you a little bit of body. Okay? So I'm going to show you how to do that now. I've put the, the bell in and I've put the rice in. And now you can see there's her face. And I'm going to squeeze it this way. Then give it a little bit of a shake. You can't hear the bell at all, so I'm going to take that out because it's a little bit of a waste. Um, you give her a little bit of a shake just to make sure that you're happy with the amount of rice that you've put in. Sounds great to me. And then you're going to find your stapler again and you are going to staple her clothes. So find the end, put a staple in, find the other end. Put a staple in and then I put two more staples in just to keep my little person nice and secure and then I took um, my scissors and I trimmed the edge of the felt and guys that is how you make a little health hero it is so simple really really easy um, you can make it any which way you want like I say you can fill it with a bell you can fill it with rice and um, the little arms are really nice they look like they're shouting hooray, strong arms for the NHS over there. So um, really, really simple on how to make these. And I hope that you'll give them a go. Please don't be intimidated by using the felt specifically. Like I say, you can use whatever you've got. It can be cardboard. It can be paint. And um, really all you need to make this is some markers and a toilet roll and something to fill it with. And then the idea is to make it into a little person um, just to give them a little bit of character for when you are shaking them and then hopefully you will be able to use them throughout the festival while we are jamming to all the things that are going on or 
You can use them on a Thursday night, which is a really nice touch because you've got a lot of nights still to be grateful for all the things um, that the guys in, in the Shrewsbury and Telford hospitals are doing for us. Um, and on that note, guys, I just if you've enjoyed this craft or if you've enjoyed anything that's happening throughout this whole festival, um, please think about donating on the Just Giving page. We'll link it up. Um, it's really easy and every little bit helps to just show how grateful we are for all the work that the wonderful medical staff are doing for us over this time. So thanks so much to Annie and the Rainbows and Happy Days Festival for having us. And we will hopefully see you guys in one of our live classes. So I'm going to hand over to Meg now, who's going to join you from South Africa. Cheers, everyone. Bye-bye. Today, going to be showing you how to make some um, rainbow unicorns and some and a rainbow cloud out of toilet rolls. And all you're going to need is some empty toilet roll holders and some glue. Print works as well as some clear glue like this. Um, and you're going to need some scissors and wool if you've got wool or felt or some ribbon or color and colorful paper and it sounds like a lot but it's it's really not a lot and it's really quite simple so we're going to be making some unicorns I can, you can see a few in the front that i have made and i'll show you them in more detail and tell you exactly how to make them coming up now so um what you need first and foremost is a toilet roll just like this and in order to make one of these ones, like this, I have made a pink one and a yellow one and a white one, and you make them in exactly the same way. The little tail is made out of cut up strips of felt, and as well as the little mane in the front. Um, I have wrapped white paper around this toilet roll, and I've put some white cardboard here for the ears with some pink paper inside, and I drew the eyes on with some cardboard and did the little cheeks actually with a pink crayon so it really wasn't um, tricky at all and just to show you how easy it is if you take a piece of white paper and you take your toilet roll like this I just marked on my toilet roll with a pencil um, kind of where it fitted so that I could take my um, so that I could cut it out and then I marked along there and I just cut a strip like that. Now you can do this obviously in any color that you that you want. Um, then I took my glue and I put some glue all over this piece of paper, up the sides, making sure I got to the corners and all the way along. Okay, so I've covered this paper in some glue and now I take my toilet roll and I've literally put it on the put the paper onto the toilet roll like this and I roll it around. Now I'm using paper, you can also use cardboard. The yellow and the pink one that I have done is actually out of cardboard. Then I just freehand cut that piece off and now I have covered my toilet roll with a piece of paper. And I am halfway there. Um, at that point, you can take that same paper and you can cut some ears out for your unicorn and I'll just do it here using this paper that I've just used. I think the ears are a little bit better when you use it out of cardboard. So I've got the ears, I have a bit of pink paper here so I cut a little inside from my pink paper to do the inside of my unicorn's ear because obviously my unicorn has got pink in her or his ears okay and then I take this pink that I've cut out and I'm just going to cut the second one again because it wasn't as they weren't the same sort of size as you can see I've just done it freehand okay and I stick this pink on like that and I stick the other little ear in and on like this okay and I've done my ears okay and then I would take my clear glue and I would glue these ears onto the inside of my toilet roll. I've made sure that my line, oopsie, let me just do it facing me. 
that the join of my paper is actually at the back of my unicorn, okay? I just think it makes it look neater and I've lost an ear down the side there. Where are you gone? There you are. Okay. Now hold them in and I've got my little ears sticking out now of my unicorn. And then I've got this lovely glittery um, foam which I use to make my unicorn's horn. If you don't have that, you can use another color cardboard, like you could cut your unicorn's horn out of blue cardboard and put some glitter on it, okay? I think obviously to make it nice and shiny, um, it's uh, this I loved, but you can, you can use anything you like. It would be a good idea to make it a contrasting color. If you're doing your unicorn in white, then make sure that the horn is not also in white. You could color it in with the marker pen, um, whatever. So now I've actually done my unicorn. I would take my little eyes and I just draw them on with a swivel and a kick for the eyelash and a swivel and a kick for the eyelash and we are almost there. So to make the little fringe and the, um, the tail, I actually used a whole lot of felt, which I've got right here. So I took my felt and I cut it into little strips like this, you can see the little strips of felt in rainbow colors because we're making rainbow unicorns. So I've cut it into little strips. And once I was happy with the amount that I was going to have for my tail, I um, held it together. And then what I did is I took my scissors like this and I just went into the back of my, of the toilet roll where I wanted the tail to go. And you just sort of go gently, gently and you make a hole in it. It doesn't look very neat right now, but it doesn't really matter because when you push your felt in, I actually used the edge of my pencil and I just pushed, pushed, pushed until I got my pieces of felt into the back of the toilet roll like that. I didn't even glue it because they're quite, actually quite firm because the hole is a bit smaller than the whole lot of felt that I've put in. And so it actually stays in. You can put a bit of clear glue around there to make sure that it is secure and in place. And I did a similar thing for the front, where I cut s smaller slithers of felt and I glued it then on the inside of this toilet roll and I pulled it around to make a little fringe for the mane for the unicorn. Um, you can use ribbon or you can actually use different colored wool. I don't know what you have access to at home. I didn't. The only color wool that I have is black or gray which isn't going to be rainbow colors. So I chose to use the felt, which I did have available. You could use um, tissue paper or you could use colorful paper. It's totally up to you. The second unicorn that I made looked like this, where I actually gave the unicorn a nice little head and a tail and little legs. This one also looks a little bit complicated, but it's actually not really that complicated. So I'm just going to show you again. I covered this unicorn in white paper. When you want to make it, what I did was I marked, I kind of squeezed my toilet roll so that I got it into quarters so I knew where I was going to cut his legs. And um, I've now got my four places and what I actually did was I took my scissors and I made an incision on each of those four quarters like I'm doing right now. Okay, and once I had those incisions, I kind of just went on the one side of it, took my scissors, and I did a little bit of a round circle around it, okay? And I did that again on the other legs, and I go around. It seems a little bit tricky, but when you cover it, it actually, you don't really notice. So I'll go around again. I mean, it doesn't, it seems tricky, but it looks a bit messy is what I was trying to say, but it's actually not that messy when you see the end result. Okay, so now I've cut around and I've got my four little legs here, okay? And then I decide which one I want to be in the front and I, if I decide I want that to be my front, I cut down to make its neck. You can decide where you want and then where you want your neck to be, sorry. And then you're going to cut the top of this toilet roll off and around until you get to the other side. So basically what you have is that. You've got your legs and you've got the, the top of the toilet roll. 
Then I just kind of freehand drew. You need cardboard for this, so you can kind of use the back of this. You can use the, the, the leftover bit of this toilet roll, but I don't think it's enough. So you need to find a piece of cardboard. I actually used, I did use the back of a cereal box because it was nice and firm. And then on a piece of white paper, I drew the shape of my unicorn's head. It does look a little bit like a cat. When, well, mine seemed to. Um, when I first drew it. But once it's on, you can kind of see that it's a unicorn, especially when you get the horn involved. So I have this, as I said to you, is actually paper. Um, it's ideal if you use um, if you use cardboard. So you would do the same thing. You would wrap this around with some white paper and glue it. Um, maybe I should just do it for you quickly so that you can actually see exactly what to do. Um, and it's not hard. This was also measured. So I glue this whole piece of paper to make this little unicorn with the legs and the sticky out head. I'm going to put glue all over here. Okay. And once I did that, I stick it on. Now I make sure my join is going to be at the back again because I don't want to see the join um, on the front of my, of my little unicorn. So now I've done, put my paper all the way around it. Now you think to yourself, but I now can't see what I've done, but you can. So now I've cut down next to where I've cut the, the neck on my paper. And then I just made a few more slits like this and like this. Okay, and what you can do once you've done that is you just fold that piece of paper down in, inside the loo roll. Okay, so you're getting rid of it. Okay, I've got a little bit of loo roll sticking up there, so I just cut it off. Same with the legs. I actually just cut up the middle of the leg through the middle where I could see the white. Um, and then I just folded it in and stuck it. Folded in, stuck, fold in and stuck down, fold in, stuck down. Okay, like that. All right, obviously I would do it a little bit slower than what I'm doing right now. So my, this one is looking a lot neater. So now I've got my white unicorn. I then take this cardboard that I have done and I stick it onto the neck here. So it sticks out. Okay, so now I've got the start of my unicorn looking there. Again, I can put little pink ears here. Okay. I would do that on both sides. I would put a little ear. I also took my shiny um, my shiny foam. Doesn't matter what color to you do the horn in. You can decide whatever you like. Don't be afraid to make your horn nice and long. Um, looks really pretty. Um, and I stuck the horn onto the back of my of this piece of loo roll that was still sticking up. So now you can see that it's starting to look a little bit like a unicorn. If I take my completed product, you can see that I've actually used some embroidery cotton here in rainbow colors. So I've got the tail that I've glued into inside and I've got it hanging over there and I've done the same for its little fringe. Again, you can use wool for this. I wouldn't, I probably wouldn't use felt because it's quite thick and bulky. But the embroidery cotton, I think, looks really cute. And obviously, I just added some face detail. If you wanted to, you could put some more glitter and some more effects on the side of your unicorn. And again, you can use other colors if you want to. So that's how you make the little unicorn. Um, the last thing that I want to show you that goes, that is our rainbow cloud, is um, also another very, very simple task. And... What you need is another one of the of the loo rolls and you need a piece of, well I used blue cardboard, now I'm going to find it. Okay, this is already I think cut pretty much to size and um, I wrapped my, um, so sorry, let me show you exactly what I'm talking about, it's this. So I've got a rainbow cloud, so I've basically covered my toilet roll in blue cardboard and I have stuck on a piece of white. It's actually a, a shiny white piece of card with a cloud space. And then these are just strips of paper. You can use tissue paper. You can use, um, you could use wool. Um, 
but yeah, I just had, I had some colorful paper. So basically, you're going to wrap your loo roll again, your inside into the cardboard like this and cut it. Okay, once you've done that, you're going to take your white cardboard and cut out a cloud shape. Once you've cut your cloud shape out, you're going to then stick it onto the top of that. Okay, which is fairly simple. I then took some colored paper like this and I just cut some strips. So if I cut like this, there's actually four different colors here. Okay, I cut strips of color, okay? And what I did was I put it into the inside of the cloud and I just used this glue. I stuck it on the top here and then I pushed it into the toilet roll and it hung there. And I actually used eight strips, that was the thickness of my of the paper that I cut and it fitted around this beautiful hanging decoration and they look really cute and I think if you hang them outside they shake in the wind and I thought they were really sweet to go with our little rainbow unicorns which always just make everybody feel quite happy and bring a smile to your face so I thought what a great what a great idea what a great little task to do um, to make us all smile during this uncertain time that we are in at the moment, thinking about rainbows and unicorns, can't you can't help but put a smile on your face. So I hope that you enjoy making them um, and that you find it just as much fun and just as easy as I did. And thank you so much for joining me. I look forward to next time. Keep well, stay safe. <music>